Hello everybody, uh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, this is a yet another beautiful Tuesday morning where we are coming to you from Banya on our Tuesday morning live chat. And today is uh, another day we've got an exciting topic for you guys and I'd like you to share this post, invite your friends, like our page, so you can you know, just get a lot more information about what we're doing. Um, so today I'm excited. I'm standing in for Tom, who's normally the host. And today he's on the other side. You're going to be seeing him in a short while. So guys, um, my host, my, my, uh, my co-host today is uh, Taku and Tom uh, on the other side. Hello, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Tom, you're on the other side today. You know, how, how, how does it feel on the other side? Uh, it, it's quite, it's, it's new. It's definitely new. Um, I've been, I've been interviewed before a few times, but it's definitely, uh, something I, I, I enjoy. I love being here. I love being on Banya chat. That's great. Yeah. So thank you for, le for letting me take, uh, take over for a few moments. So yeah, we're going to have a good time. Taku, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Great. Uh, excited to have this conversation. Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to have, uh, Beautiful discussion. You know, November is uh, the National Career Development Month, isn't it, uh, Tom? Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a time we celebrate, you know, apprenticeship, you know, giving young people uh, career development paths uh, and really promoting uh, the career and the educational interests of young people. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. You know, as you know, uh, at Banyo, we value education. Uh, and we are all about supporting our young people through our, you know, fantastic contingent of social, uh, uh, social workers and foster carers. We support, you know, young people to achieve uh, positive outcomes in education. And, you know, as you know, young people spend a lot of time during their development years uh, in education. And so education is so important and critical in how they actually excel uh, in life. And so Tom, you are coming from a fostering background and you've made that wonderful transition from being a, a looked after child and actually getting on an apprenticeship with Banya. And now you're actually working for Banya. Tell us a little bit about that you know, exciting journey. It sounds like you know, it's been quite a journey for you. It, ab it absolutely has been. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful journey. Um, and Banya has been there the entire way, um, which I can thank. I can't thank them enough for. Um, like it started when I was uh, six, uh, sixteen, and um, we say that education is important. Is so uh, how important education is for our ch the children, for our children. And I was one of those children, and. Um, what Banya did was I had a, a transitional period from um, I had a transitional period starting at 16 to 18 where I was taught um, life skills um, such as uh, I where I was assessed to see what my life skills would be and to help me gain more independence um, and they it started out with like an assessment um, and they just looked at what I was good at and what I struggled with. Um, I was really good at um, uh, being able to use a washing machine and a tumble dryer, but I was struggled with cooking um, and using a hob and uh, stuff like that. So what Banyu did was they set up, um, they helped me learn these skills by putting them into practice, like getting a recipe, planning, the, getting the ingredients, making it, and those kind of things um, happened from 16 all the way up until 18. And mm. then from 18, they realized, they assessed me again, they realized I needed a bit more time. Um, mm. So they put me into a program called Staying Put. So mm. I stayed with my foster parents um, from 18 to 21. And Banya offers that to any, uh, mo any children who need a little bit more time to um, grow, mature, learn new skills, or if they're in education. So this includes um, going back to college like I did, 
uh, or going to university. Um, I thought about going to university, but I decided against it because I didn't feel like it was right for me. Mm. Um, but I did discuss it with um, my social work, my social worker and my band new supervising social worker. And um, like they said that regardless, they would encourage, they would encourage it and they would you know, support me regardless of my decision, which well, it sounds did. like, it sounds like you're very much part of the decision making in terms of, you know, what you're going to do with your career. Oh, absolutely. It was like, regardless of what I chose, I was supported and I was given guidance to um, whatever I wanted to do. And that translated into me getting an apprenticeship with Banya, which I am doing now. Wow. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Now, I know most people know that you, you actually host the Banya Chats. Um, can you give a bit more light about some of the stuff that you, that you do behind the scenes as well for Banya? Oh, um, I do. I do. Um, I do quite a bit. I basically I organize and I um, the posts uh, that you see. Um, I do. I I make I make, I create those. The quotes, um, the stories. I host the Banya chat. Um, I put the I edit the videos and I put them on on YouTube. Um, and it's just like and I've been taught so many new skills as well, and it's just been excellent. Wow, we do actually enjoy to having you part of the team. You know, it's, it's been really a pleasure uh, having you as part of Banya, Tom. And uh, Taku, you actually uh, were part of Banya for quite some time, uh, some a while ago. Tell us a little bit about how you actually came to be part of Banya. Yeah, so um, I was working at Banya for uh, a period of uh, almost uh, up to 10 months to a year. It was... Um, mm -hmm. A year in industry at university so Banya was the company that I was working at to get my experience um, for that year in my course so yeah I was doing um, a lot of the marketing stuff in terms of like working with recruitment working with uh, social media stuff mainly like coming up with strategies and looking into how to improve things how to do to do oh. things differently and just seeing what can be done better in a marketing sense and um, that's where I spent most of my time when I was uh, working at Banya. Oh, fantastic. And, you know, as a young person coming from uni, uh, did you have any kind of concerns, any fears before you came to be part of Banya? Like, oh, goodness, how is, how is it going to be? Are they going to be nice? You know, am I going to make it? You know, how, how was that experience for you? Yeah, well, it's always, um, that's always the test, isn't it? From going mm -hmm. from education into, into an office space or into industries is putting application to theory and you know getting the work done and implementing stuff that you've learned learning new things that you don't learn at school that are not in the textbooks but that are very important in terms mm. of work so that was yeah that was uh, a thought that I had in terms of oh what's it going to be like a mixture mm. of excitement a bit of nervousness um, just like just waiting to see what it was and so yeah, that, I think that's, that, that was a big part. That's always gonna be a big part in every uh, young person's journey, making that decision. Yeah, and did, did you feel like you were supported? Did you feel like, you know, you were given an opportunity to express and explore some of your abilities? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, um, it's always that transition of like coming and getting settled, getting to know people, having the trust of the, the space, like uh, people setting out clear expectations um what the company was going to do what i was going to do um so that everybody had like good foundation for the year to be successful which it was oh that's that's fantastic and what would you say to other young people who are in the valley of decision making they're trying to figure out what to do maybe they're at uni maybe they're trying to um think about what to do in life you know what you, what would you advise them to do in, in terms of what we're talking about you know taking advantage of the apprenticeships that are all over the country yeah, always take the risk, follow what you're interested in, follow what you're passionate about, follow things that, you know, that make you happy because that's where you're going to apply yourself the best, that's where you're going to work hard. And if you want to do something, if you're not sure, I would always say maybe just try. So you learn what you love, what you don't like, um, areas that you want to further explore, maybe things that you're like, no, I'll try that, it wasn't for me, let me try something else. Think in that, in that sense, like, just go for what your passions are, try always go for experience and getting experience will help you post university when you actually want to step into the 
uh, job industry. Fantastic. For those of you joining us, we're just talking about uh, celebrating the National Career Development Month, and we're talking with Taku and Tom all, uh, about you know apprenticeships and, you know, and the career uh, opportunities that are there, uh, and what Banya is doing to 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 support that. And Tom. Uh, you spoke a little bit about you know your transition into Banya and what you've done and, and the stuff the work that you're doing now. Have you felt like you've been supported? You know how's been the environment for you? And I'm just saying because I know maybe there may be some young people watching and thinking, mm, okay, I don't think I, I, I don't think I can last in a work environment. But what would you say? You know, coming from a fostering background and then now starting to work, you know, do, do you feel like the environment has been conducive and uh, encouraging for you? Absolutely. Like complete, I can completely 100% uh, say that um, Banya has f fully supported me and encouraged me um, with, um, with this apprenticeship. Like I have been taught like so many new skills um, and I've been uh, like, if I have something I have concerns or anything I know who I can go to and I, I feel listened to. I feel like um, my voice is taken into consideration. Like I'm not just, um, I, I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not just like, you know, the new person. I'm not just like the person who's been, um, been here for a couple months. I, I feel like I, I'm a member of the team and I have as much of a voice as somebody who's been here for, you know, 10 15 years wow. and like we have like equal say in what happens that's that's and really good amazing yeah and and what would you say to foster carers uh, who are watching us today and people who actually wanted to get into fostering who have a passion for young people and you know they have, they want to see young people succeed you know and maybe you are watching us and you have you have actually had your own children and they're now out of the nest and you know you know thinking about okay what can I do with my time you know uh, can I get into fostering what can you say to those people who are watching who would want to actually look after young people and have and you know and actually help them to succeed in life do it I 100% do, do it I don't see how there is any um negatives to that I mean you let a young person into your home they're going to remember that they're going to look back on that. I was like, oh, they did that for me. They're really, really nice people. And they tried to help me and they did help me. And um, especially with anyone trying to move forward, like trying to encourage and support um, a child's growth into education or um, a career development or apprenticeship, encourage that too, because it's all experience no matter what it is it is experience whether you are a foster carer or you're encouraging a foster child experience is never a bad thing having experience is the most valuable thing now especially nowadays it might be something that you have or that somebody else doesn't have and that is what is a golden your golden ticket beautiful and uh, you know we have a uh, new digital, about four digital marketers that are coming through on an, uh, on an apprenticeship with Banya. And, you know, funny enough, Tom, you're going to be one of the people who are going to really be helping them to settle in. You know, tell us a little bit about that. How does it feel to actually be one of the people actually who is helping young people to also, you know? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to feel great. I'm going to be um, helping people find their way. I'm going to be encouraging them and you know, I'm going to make, I'm going to be making friends and I'm going to um, be making jokes and we're going to get, be so productive and we're going to be working together to help yeah. more young people and uh, help encourage more foster care people to become foster carers, to help more people. And it just, it grows and grows and grows and it's all good stuff and it's all great. I look forward to every minute of it. Oh, fantastic. And in my time, it's just one, uh, one of the many success stories at, at Banya and Taku, you know, what's next for you? You know, what, what you, what's coming up in the horizon for you? Um, yeah, so obviously 2020 has been a quite an interesting year. So it's, it's 
basically finding opportunity in terms of work, developing more of the marketing skills that I've already learned and kind of like furthering an industry as, as well as like other ventures, like just getting stuck in, still being busy. So there's a lot happening. So it's very exciting. Beautiful. You know, it's been quite a nice, informative, uh, short discussion with you guys. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope our views, those who are watching us, uh, you've enjoyed it too. Share this post uh, and like our page as, as usual. It's always a pleasure to have you. Uh, we'll see you again next time. Yeah, lovely that. See you again. Thank you.